Today, the Federal Reserve is expected to approve changes to the Volcker Rule, an Obama-era reform that ranks high on Wall Street's list of most hated regulations. A short primer on what this means, 1. What's the big deal? The Volcker Rule, named for former Fed Chairman Paul Volcker, is a simple idea, banks shouldn't gamble in the markets using taxpayer-guaranteed funds. The rule was finalized in 2013, it bars government-insured banks from proprietary trading, which essentially is a fancy term for speculating. 2. That sounds reasonable. What's the problem? Distinguishing a proprietary trade from one done on a customer's behalf isn't necessarily easy. The Volcker Rule itself is 71 pages, but it also comes with an 892-page preamble. In part, that's because regulating big, fast-moving markets is complicated. But the rule's mind-numbing level of detail also demonstrates the bank's success in muddying up this one simple idea. In the end, regulators determined that any trading position held for less than 60 days was by definition proprietary and thus not allowed under the Volcker Rule. 3. What exactly don't banks like about it? Proprietary trading can be extremely profitable in good times. Goldman Sachs was seen as particularly adept a decade ago, which led firms like Morgan Stanley and Merrill Lynch to build up their own trading desks, a move that nearly bankrupted them when times turned bad. Times are good now and banks are making big profits, but they might be making a lot more if their trading desks weren't shackled by Volcker. For what's going to change? Under the existing law, banks are on the hook to show regulators that their trades don't constitute proprietary trading. The Trump administration wants to shift the burden of proof onto regulators, which, given the complexity noted earlier, would make finding any infractions exceedingly difficult. Other changes include no longer requiring banks to maintain what's known as ongoing calibration of certain investments over time and no longer forcing them to maintain documentation of the specific assets and risks involved in a given trade. 5. What will be the impact? Weakening the Volcker rule is an important symbolic victory for the banks and suggests further regulation deflation is on the way. Last week, President Donald Trump signed into law a measure exempting smaller banks from certain Dodd-Frank rules, including raising the asset threshold that subjects lenders to a stress test from $50 million to $250 million. The next target, easing Obama-era requirements that big banks keep large amounts of capital in reserve to protect against big losses.